channel cleaning with tk so it is a monday and the this week is actually women's week so i'm very very excited about that meaning that everything that i'll be speaking about this week will definitely be something that is just for women okay just for women and yeah maybe some men but mostly women because we are celebrating women this week so yes okay so um if it is your first time joining me welcome to the family and i hope you are here to stay please do not forget to subscribe like and share the video and also hit the notification bell that um, is next to the subscribe button and if it's not your first time joining me thank you so so much for the support and for the suggestions that i get and all the emails and inboxes that i get thank you so so much and we can also link up on um, social media i am on instagram twitter as well as facebook so <laughs> i'm just going to leave um i'm just going to leave my handles on the description below right okay so today what are we going to be speaking about first is i like i said when i started this channel i did say i've got a lot of things that i wanted to discuss but then you know the more i you know i equip myself and i do research and i i watch more news now and things like that i've seen that okay i keep getting more ideas i keep getting more ideas and also with the people that do send me information or do send me like suggestions i do get ideas okay so what we we're gonna talk about today is something that i really didn't think i was gonna speak about but then when someone mentioned it i was like okay and then when i did my own research i actually found that yeah this is something that we should really really look at because i feel like it's something that is serious and it is something that we're not really paying much attention to but deep down we know we know this um and that is dating underneath you no how do i put it dating someone who is below you as a woman dating a guy who is below you he can be below you in in well mostly no basically let me just be straight about it dating a guy who's below you in finances now i'm not saying that you know you should be a gold digger you should look for all these guys i feel like a guy should be on the same level with you or should be a bit higher than you reason being is that men they are very they have ego and they're very masculine right so if a woman earns more than the men there's always gonna be problems because the man will always feel like he is not man enough he cannot provide for you he cannot protect you he basically cannot do anything for you because you can do everything yourself and men what they like is they like being needed all men like being needed they might not say they might say they like miss independent but then as soon as a, a guy gets a really really independent woman you're gonna see what he's gonna do he is going to cheat 
and when he cheats he's going to cheat with women that are below him financially reason being he wants that that sense of i am needed here like this woman needs me for something he might not be giving her monthly allowances but you know those small things that he'd be doing with his money those are things that actually help them like they it, it makes them feel so so manly that's why you find that if you marry if a woman is with a guy that is is earning less than her or is lower than her in anything most of the time there's always problems in the relationship because firstly he's gonna feel like less of a man and once he feels like less of a man that means his ego is gonna be bruised and once his ego is bruised you can't have a happy relationship because you have to spend all your time trying to fix him, trying to make him feel better, trying to make him feel manly. And there's nothing that you can actually do or say to make him feel manly. As long as you're still here and he's here, he's always going to feel like that. Men like being needed. Men like being, they are masculine. Men like being men. That's why they are men. Like they like the thing of, you know, I'm the man. And he can't say I'm the man when he doesn't even pay electricity in the house. I do everything. He's the man for what? Just for dick only. Which is actually why I'm going to use this as an example. You see this um, Zoto Abantu and then Tobago guy. Let's not look at the fact that, okay, the age gap. Let's not look at the fact that um, she's younger than him, way younger. But the fact that, firstly, he's got more money than her. And on top of that, he just, she just went to pay Lobola for him. I mean, as, as a guy, as a guy, how would you feel? Cause I know some, some people, what they say is that, um, um, the man, if you've helped your, your, your boyfriend or your fiance pay Lobola for you, they, the man always feels that it's like some type of way because to him, it's like, that stuff that he's supposed to do. So she didn't just help him pay Lobola for her. She paid Lobola for him. Like, how did she actually expect that to last? Because she's made him feel... What's this word? Emasculine. Yes, I think it's emasculine. When when you take away the men's masculine... Uh, the men's manhood or whatever. Like, I don't know how to say this word. <laughs> I really don't know how to say this word. But then you emasculate him or something like that where you make him feel already he knows that he doesn't end more than you and on top of that he and then on top of that you keep doing things that actually show the whole world just not just the two of you now it's showing the whole world that this guy is below me this guy is i make more than him and all of that um i remember there this other time um this other time my my partner at the time was was speaking to someone so what i did is i did it out of love but what i did is that um i spoke to that person i was like you know since you're speaking to so and so like this i don't like it because i don't want him to do one two and three while my partner at the time had already agreed that he's gonna do one two and three so when i got home because we were speaking over the phone when i got home i thought i was actually saving him only to find that when i got home when i got home the guy was angry because he was saying you know you just showed this guy that you don't respect me you don't how can you speak to him on my behalf i can do that for myself so imagine if i'm any more than him and then i'm not just it's not just the two of us in the house that know this i'm showing the whole world that okay i'm here and he's here it will never ever ever work and i know that we know women we end up sometimes doing this because we've got a lot of things like we've got the biological clock that is clicking that is ticking we know that's okay by by uh, if i'm 35 and i don't have anyone let me just take whatever don't because what's going to happen is that you are going to end up with a man that will firstly you're going to divorce if you do get married you're going to divorce secondly if you do have children you're going to end up being a single mother thirdly when by the time that you divorce that person there's going to be so much resentment from the guy to you reason being is because you've made him feel so you've taken away his manhood you've you've basically made him a joke you have made him a joke and the reason and i think 
you know us women the reason that we actually intentionally go for guys that we know we know that they are lower than us in any kind of way is i feel t to me i think that is kind of also like insecurity on our side as women because most of the time what we think is that okay if I, if i do everything for the guy um you know he's gonna stay with me he won't cheat he won't do all of that but what what do these guys do they take the same money that you give them the same car that you buy for them if you like have enough money to buy them a car and they use that money and they use that car to impress other women women that are lower than them financially so i'm not sure if what i'm saying actually makes sense but i've actually seen this and i've actually seen cases where the woman is paying spousal support for a man like what is that because already you've you've made him such a joke and he now resents you he might as well benefit from it so if you divorce he's gonna tell you um he's gonna get lawyers that will say fine because he's lower than you he's gonna need ten thousand a month or twenty thousand a month that will come from you to pay him each and every month so that um so that he you know he he survives so please ladies be careful be very 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 careful i'm not saying just go for the guy mainly for his money but please try to find for an example if if i am a student and my man is a student that is fine okay that is absolutely fine but then if i'm a lawyer and then i date someone who for an example maybe i get paid sixty thousand a month and then i date someone or i'm in a relationship with someone who's earning ten thousand a month like what what can they really do in my life like with the ten thousand because that's like a portion of my salary already i'm going to be taking care of everything in the house the car the insurance the the bills all of that what is he doing so what how do you think he is feeling does he still feel manly like, does he still feel like, okay, I'm the man? Like, how do you think he's feeling? Men, they have this thing. That's why also, and another thing, ladies, is when you date someone, when you date someone, I don't care if people say you shouldn't date for money, you should just date for love. Love will not pay your bills, firstly. And secondly, love will not take care of your children should anything happen to you. If, you date, if you're with someone that is earning lower than you, but just because you love them, um it's fine you don't care that you, you you're taking away their manhood you're bruising their ego they're gonna end up presenting you and also you need to think of if something was to happen to me will my kids be t well taken care of and once you see there's people that are married where the man has been emasculated so so much that he he ends up being that soft like he's just accepted it but obviously he cheats on you yes because he wants to feel manly if he doesn't he ends up feeling so unneeded and so feminine that even when you have kids it it like it's like people that did life sciences will know we adapt uh, our genes adapt so that gene of being like too like soft and bruised and all of that he will pass that on to your kids and you definitely definitely don't want your kids to have that now this is something that i did not even plan to speak about but then i'm looking around and i'm saying that no this is not on it is not not on and it's like it's it's happening it's happening a lot and when i was speaking to because what i do is before i speak about something here obviously i speak to my friends when i speak to them everyone relates like this is something that is going on and it, it won't help and even when i speak to guys guys don't like that the, not not just that they feel intimidated and all of that it's not even about intimidation it's about their manhood a man wants to know that he's needed he's a provider and he's the protector if he's not working or if you earn more than him how is he gonna feel all of that by changing light bulbs in the house like how is he gonna feel that okay i'm doing something for my woman so ladies please please be careful i think i'd rather i think it's better you just single than be with someone waste your youth or waste your good years with someone 
end up divorcing that someone and then having having that person resent you or hate you because you you made them feel like you you their ego you emasculated them so much have them resent you so much that the divorce is also messy and you end up having to pay for someone's for someone as if you know they are your child so i'd really really rather that you are just single and there's nothing wrong you single and you wait until you find a man that will you know be in your level or a man also another thing is energies energies they are very contagious they are very contagious because if especially i don't know most of the time with the women it's if a woman for an example let's say i'm dating a guy or I'm with a guy who's got a lot of money. Okay, I've got my own money, but he's, he's got a bit more money than me. Automatically, I'm going to be motivated to do more also. Get more money also. Not that I'm using his money, no. I'm going to be motivated to get more money. Just like you see in, in, in examples like Rihanna's. You see that, that that woman, she was bankrupt in 2019. She was bankrupt in 2019. And then now she's with this billionaire it's not that she's a gold digger it's not that she's using his money but then it's like she also leveled up mentally when she was with him because i feel like when obviously you with you in a relationship you don't just talk oh i love you i love you like you build each other up so how will a man build you up if if he's not he's below you even another example amanda dupont she's with this um business guy I won't say she's using his money, but she's she's making she's getting um she's making like better money than she was before. She she has more she has more business adventures than she did before meeting this guy. And I won't say, you know, it's this guy's doing, but it's the mind. And I remember she even wrote that and you know, thank you for all the business advice and all of that when you know, I think it was their anniversary or something like that. But that's the thing. It energies rub off. So if you're with a guy who is ambitious and who's working hard and who's motivated and who's got money automatically that's how you are going to be also i'm not don't say i'm trying to condone the whole gold digging thing even though i don't think there's a woman who's a gold digger but then that's a story for another day but i'm just saying please be careful rather you be alone than be with the guy who's lower than you it will not do you any good at all okay so ladies um please comment down below and tell me what do you think would you really go for a guy that has that is lower than you or maybe are you with the guy that is lower than you currently and you don't mind or like do you get my point or maybe you think maybe i should have i should have said it differently or you're not understanding what i mean or anything please comment on the um, comment section below and I hope you do enjoy your weekend and I will reply to all comments that I will be getting. And yes, thank you so much and have a nice day. Uh, bye.